7.42 in Trinidad and Tobago. Well, World Red Cross and Red Crescent Day will be commemorated on Sunday, May the 8th. And to be, assist in that commemoration, the Red Cross Society Trinidad and Tobago is hosting five days of kindness countdown under the theme hashtag be humankind, which concludes uh, today, also happening today. In fact, it concludes tomorrow, I believe, with uh, the, the schedule of events that they have. Uh, and uh, when you look at today, today is supposed to be Kindness to Strangers Day. It's also Red Cross Open Day. Uh, tomorrow, it's Caring for the Environment. So that's when it, it concludes, the Saturday, the 7th of uh, May. Also happening today, as I said, is the open house at the Trinidad and Tobago Red Cross headquarters from 9 o'clock in the morning until 2 in the afternoon, where visitors can experience and participate in disaster management and first aid simulations tour the inside of an ambulance and receive free health checks at the Red Cross Clinic. Well, to give us some context to all of these activities and how it's been going so far, we're joined by Salon McDonald, Business Development Manager and Social Innovation Director with the Red Cross Society. And also with us is Ariel Kestens, who is the Head of Delegation and Country Cluster Delegation for the Dutch and English-speaking Caribbean. He's originally from Santa Fe in Argentina. Argentina and uh, of course based here now in Port of Spain which might not be all that different of an environment uh, now with the, the influx of uh, migrants from uh, South America and especially Venezuela as well. Good morning to you both. Thanks very much uh, for joining us. If I could start with, with Salon uh, as far as the, the, the five days and I know we, we've gone past uh, two or three days already. How has it been going Indeed. so far Salon? Good morning to you. Hi, good morning, Kuzi. Good morning, TNT. It's been fantastic. We've been having people do the act of kindness, but also send us the photos and tag us on our Instagram, showing the, the you know, the hashtag and the symbol that we've come, you know, put kindness in the picture. The idea is that we want people to show, um, you know, themselves doing the kindness, but not as a matter of showing, like, look, I'm doing this or giving this, but even just hashtag and show the symbol, putting kindness in the picture. We've been getting the photos, we've been seeing it, we've been feeling the vibe of TNT doing the kindness. And it's been really fantastic to, you know, experience people supporting us as we celebrate International Red Cross, Red Crescent Day. And, and Mr. Kestens, give me your perspective. Thanks very much for taking the time as well uh, to join us. How, how beneficial has, has this uh, activity been in making people more aware of the work of the Red Cross in Trinidad and Tobago? Good morning to you. Good morning, good morning to you and everybody in the audience. Yes, every every year on the 8th of May, we celebrate the World Red Cross Red Crescent Day to, uh, to celebrate the courage, the dedication, the compassion of millions of volunteers around the world that uh, provide health, uh, health care and, and services uh, to, to the communities, right? This past year has been outstanding in terms of the reach of these uh, 15 million volunteers that the Red Cross Red Crescent uh, has around the world, which we have reached uh, over 800 million people with disaster uh, and emergency help, uh, over 300 million people with health assistance, over 125 people with uh, water and sanitation. And it also has been outstanding because of the number of people who have uh, reached out uh, to Red Cross Red Crescent societies around the world and started to volunteer and provide, you know, a little bit of their time to help others, which, uh, of course, makes the celebration of this year particular uh, theme, uh, kindness, uh, be high in our agenda. In, indeed. And, and, and Salon McDonald, what's going to be happening today, especially with the Open Day? We've mentioned from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Red Cross headquarters in, in Newtown, uh, Port of Spain. Uh, tell us about what's going to be, what regular citizens will, will be able to experience. Well, our house has always been your house, but today we've opened up the house so that you can come in and spend some more time with us. You can come in, volunteer, speak with our volunteer coordinators. You can be part of demonstrations as it relates to disaster preparedness, first aid. You get to tour the ambulance. Um, you can bring the children along because children are people too, and they can be a part of our games on disaster preparedness and Zika education. I guarantee it's gonna be fun for all. You can also get your health checks done know your numbers, uh, come in and our, our volunteers who operate from the clinic, which is right in our yard. Yes, we have a clinic right at the headquarters on Fitzblackman Drive. That's behind the stadium. You can come in, get your blood pressure checked, 
and so forth. Know your, your cholesterol levels, um, check your blood sugar, and those things which are about taking care of you because act of kindness starts with you. So come on down and be a part of our open meeting from 9 to 2. And, and let me get a final perspective from, from Mr. Kestens. Uh, you, you are from Argentina, sir. And I, I suppose when, when sometimes people ask them question, they, themselves the question, why would I join the, the Red Cross? Why are you, wh why, what would you say to anybody who would ask you that question? Why are you part of the Red Cross Society? Well, I'm part of the Red Cross Society because I believe in, the, in our vision, in our mandate, saving life and changing mind. But the reason to join the Red Cross can, be, uh, can, be, can vary from person to person. You may want to show because you want to, to help others. You may also want to show because you find an organization that reflects your principles and your values, and you will be with people that are like you uh, in terms of mindset, in terms of value, etc. Or you, uh, as I keep saying in, a, in, a, in another interview, you know, being kind to others is also help yourself. People who are systematically engaged in, in act of kindness, like volunteering, like providing service to others, live longer and live younger and remain younger, right? Uh, help others, uh, pro be kind to others, uh, um, triggers a particular uh, endorphin in our brain that, that help us, it's a, it's a natural pain painkiller. So helping others and supporting others is also an act of kindness to ourselves. That's another good reason to join an organization like the Red Cross. And before we conclude, Salon McDonald, for anyone who would like to send their video or their image of, of, of their, their act of kindness, today's kindness to strangers, to Maurits caring for the environment, to conclude the series of activities, what, what do they have to do to, to, to get their images up on, on, on the platform? Feel free to put your Instagram and tag us at TTRCS1, and we'll ensure that, you know, your visual, we're going to stitch all of the visuals together. So hashtag... Be humankind, tag us at TTRCS1, put kindness in the picture, use the symbol, and we're definitely going to stitch you in to join and show the rest of being kind. Salon McDonald and Ariel Kestens, we want to thank you very much, gentlemen, for taking the time to be with us this morning and all power to the effort shown uh, by, by those working uh, in support of the Trinidad and Tobago Red Cross and indeed the Red Crescent societies around the world as well as the lead up towards the celebration of uh, World Red Cross and Red Crescent Day come Sunday. 7.49, approaching 7.50 in Trinidad and Tobago. Still more, one more interview to get through before we wrap up this morning right after the break. Everyone's on the hunt, every man ought to give generously.